Golden fish! Golden fish! Once upon a time, there was a fisherman who lived with his wife in an old hut on the shore of the Blue Sea. Every day the old man went out fishing. One day, the fisherman sat fishing all day without catching a single fish. Then suddenly, he felt a tug on his fishing line. When he pulled it up, he saw a small golden fish. The golden fish begged for his freedom and promised to give anything the fisherman wanted. The old man kindly put the fish back into the sea and asked for nothing. Please put me back in the water. Please, I'll give you anything you want. Oh, a talking fish. Well, I'll let you go. Swim away. When the fisherman returned home, he told his wife everything that had happened. She said, Why don't you ask for a new trough? The fish will certainly give us that. Just go. So the fisherman came back to the seashore and called out loudly for the golden fish. Wife, I caught a talking golden fish. He said he would do whatever I wished if I would let him go. But I didn't ask for anything. My goodness, you're such a fool. Go back to the fish and ask for a new trough since ours is broken. Well, I'll go. The fish swam up. Then the old man said, Golden fish, my wife Ilsebil wants a new trough. The golden fish said, Go home. Your wife already has the new trough. Golden fish, golden fish. Golden fish, my wife Ilsebil wants a new trough. Go home, your wife already has the new trough. The fisherman came back to his home, but he wondered if the fish would fulfill that wish. When he arrived, he saw the new trough. His wife was very pleased by it. But not long after that, she wanted a beautiful cottage. So she asked the fisherman to go back to the golden fish. The old man went to the sea again. Husband, go back to the golden fish and ask for a new cottage. He'll certainly give us that. It's terrible living in this tiny hut. Oh, but, but... Husband, don't say anything more. Go there immediately. When the fisherman came to the sea, the water was dark blue. As soon as the old man called the golden fish, it swam up. The fisherman pleaded, Golden fish, my wife Ilsebil wants a new cottage. The golden fish said, Go home, your wife already has the cottage. Golden fish, my wife wants to have a large cottage. Go home. Your wife already has the cottage. When he came home, the fisherman saw that where his tiny hut once stood, there now was a nice cottage with new furniture. The wife was very delighted, but after a week, she wanted to live in a large stone castle. So again, she asked the fisherman to go back to the golden fish. Husband, quickly, come and look at this beautiful cottage. Oh, what's that, Isabel? Hurrah! Hmm, this cottage is too small. I want to live in a large stone castle. Go back to the golden fish and tell him to give us a castle. The following day, the fisherman came to the sea again. The water was dark gray, and the waves began to rise. He called out loudly for the fish. Golden fish, please grant my wife a wish. She wants to have a stone castle. The golden fish swam up and said to him, 
go home. Your wife already has the stone castle. Golden fish, my wife doesn't want to live in the cottage any longer. She wants to have a stone castle. Go home. Your wife already has the stone castle. When the fisherman went home, his wife was no longer in the cottage. But instead of it, there stood a great stone castle with many servants. Never had the wife felt so happy. But then she wished to be a queen. You see, you have a great stone castle. Are you happy now? Hmm, just so. But I want to be a queen. So go back to the fish. I must be a queen. Although he didn't want to go, the fisherman still obeyed his wife and went to the sea again. The water was entirely black, looking like it was boiling. The wind was blowing strongly. The fish then swam up. The old man said, "Golden fish, my wife wants to be a queen." Once again, the fish agreed and said to him, "Go home. Your wife is a queen already." Golden fish, please grant me a wish. Go home. Your wife is a queen already. When he came home, he saw a huge palace, and his wife had become a queen. She was sitting on the golden throne with a diamond crown on her head, and on both sides of her stood her maids in waiting in a row. The fisherman thought that his wife was satisfied with all the things she had, but after several weeks, she began to be tired of being a queen. Go back to the golden fish and tell him to make me empress of land and sea. So every day the golden fish will have to obey me. The man tried to persuade his wife to change her mind, but she didn't listen to him. She even ordered her guards to kick him out of the palace. Well, you're a queen now. It's unbelievable. How disrespectful! I am a queen, not your wife. Go back to the golden fish and tell him to make me empress of land and sea. You're crazy! No, that's impossible. Ha ha ha! Nothing is impossible. That little fish will become my servant. The fisherman was forced to go to the sea one more time. The sky was black, and the sea came in with black waves as high as the mountains. The man called the golden fish and said, "Golden fish, my wife is really crazy. She wants to be empress of the land and sea, so that you will be her servant." This time, the fish didn't say anything, but turned and swam out to the deep sea. Golden fish. Hello, kind man. I'm still here. Fish, my wife is really crazy. She wants to be empress of land and sea. The fisherman returned home, where he found that the magnificent palace had vanished. Instead, he saw his wife in her dirty clothes, in their tiny hut, with the broken trough in front of her. Well, that's the end of the story. The fisherman and the golden fish. Now you know about the fisherman. Who was kind but spineless? You also know about his wife, who was greedy, rude, and ungrateful. Particularly, you know a magical golden fish who can make wishes come true. The fish was always grateful to people who rescued him from misfortune. At the same time, he didn't forget to punish people who were greedy and ungrateful. So now, do you know what important lesson you should learn? Don't forget to tell your parents and friends those important lessons. Goodbye, and see you again soon. Oh, is that you? Ah, where's my palace? And where's my crown? Go and look for the golden fish for me instantly. <laughs>